coping and simplifying stress. Changing things. I'm going to identify some of the major methods that will assist you in building resilience and coping with stress. There are methods that someone can apply to bypass the mental and physical reaction to stress. There are also tools that people can apply to distress and heighten their overall well-being. The methods named here can be divided up into two categories, as follows. 1. Relaxation methods and self-hypnosis. 2. Coping with stress. Exercise, music, meditation, massage. Self-esteem is a crucial factor in conquering stress. Determining that you are capable of meeting and conquering life's stressors is a good start in building self-esteem. Also, a crucial part of self-esteem is believing you're worthy of love and happiness. Signs of low self-esteem. Go through the following list and consider how many of these reflect your own thoughts. I do not like myself. I do not deserve love. There's something wrong with me. I'm not worthy of respect from other people. It's tough for me to make eye contact with other people. I'm profoundly distressed when other people criticize me. Did one of these sound like you? Did more than one sound like your personality? If yes, then you have to take a few concrete steps to better your self-esteem. Why low self-esteem increases stress levels in your life. Low self-esteem steps up stress levels in your life due to two reasons. 1. You're constantly gauging yourself negatively. You do not permit yourself to open up to felicity due to an ongoing damaging internal dialogue. 2. You're constantly concerned about what others think of you and go to unreasonable lengths to attain their acceptance and approval. Confidence versus Self-esteem. They are different. Self-esteem is different from self-confidence in numerous ways. You may be extremely successful in your chosen career and yet you still find yourself feeling terrible. You need to be capable of loving yourself to experience happiness. Several successful individuals are miserable at heart and have terrible self-esteem. Low self-esteem makes it easier for other people to manipulate you, and it also makes you terribly unsure of your own feelings and opinions. What you can do to improve your self-esteem. It must be obvious to you why it's important to work on your self-esteem. Without high self-esteem. You'll be an unhappy individual even if you've been able to achieve material success. Low self-esteem makes it extremely tough for you to succeed in any endeavor. Being your own worst enemy, you'll be perpetually placing obstacles in your own path. Following are some of the things you should do to improve your self-esteem. 1. Stop criticizing yourself. Learn not to condemn yourself for the small slip-ups that we all are prone to make in our lives. You have to accept mistakes as a necessary part of life. 2. Praise yourself when you do something great. Be overgenerous in your praise, but it's crucial to be honest. 3. Whenever you undertake some activity, visualize yourself as being successful in it. Relaxation methods. Physical and mental. It's normal to experience stress occasionally. The reality is life is full of stress. As a matter of fact, some stress is healthy. We all need a bit of stress in our lives, 
it spices up the life. It motivates to accomplish the most daunting tasks. Can stress be a positive tool? The answer is a definitive yes. Imagine you have a deadline to meet. While your tension levels become elevated, you find the strength inside you to complete the assignment on time. Stress helps you to become more centered, and in some cases increases your strength when you're in a pressured position. Maybe you have discovered you are able to think more clearly when trying to meet that deadline. Yes, stress can stimulate the brain and sharpen one's performance. It's obvious that stress is a necessary component used to occasionally clear the clutter from your mind. When approached positively, stress can help you evolve by letting go of uninvited thinking. It helps to keep stress levels down. While it's inevitable that you'll experience stress in all walks of life, it's significant to learn stress management and relaxation methods to control stress and channelize it to your own advantage, instead of getting bogged down by it. Here we'll identify what progressive muscle relaxation is. Progressive muscle relaxation is an easy physical activity that will assist you in keeping calm at all times. Advantages of relaxation Additional energy, clear mind Improved decision-making, mental clarity Better control of your life 